everyone, Jane Spansel here bringing you yet another video. Oh my God, you guys, now it has been a minute since I've done a subscriber submitted wig. So that is what we're gonna do today. Now this wig was submitted to me almost anonymously. I had to do some detective work to narrow down who exactly sent me this wig. I had to like go into my community section and remember things I had heard. My whole Jessica Fletcher brain just kicked in. It was like 34, 35, you know, I got it all figured out. Okay, here we go. So this is our wig. And I narrowed this down from a comment I got in the community post that said, I sent you an amazing wig from Wish. And as I'd gone through all of my fan submissions, I couldn't help but notice this is the only Wish-like wig. Because when it arrived, it was unlabeled. So, I would like to thank Valencia for the fan submitted wig. Now Valencia, if this is your wig, make yourself known down below. Otherwise, if knowing Wish, it probably hasn't arrived yet. But I have a black lace front wig that we're gonna transform today. So if this is the wig, let me know. Otherwise, you're going to have to figure that out on your end because I did my part, okay? Okay, so I'm going to try this wig on and show it off for you folks. That's right, a little modeling. So I'll be right back. <laughs> this is our wig. Look at her. I have to say, she didn't lie. <laughs> she didn't lie. It is a nice wig, although it just tried to kill me, so I don't know how I feel about that, but I won't hold it against somebody named Valencia, okay? So... This is actually kind of cute. The lace is a bit deep for me, but that's, it's fine. You know, we can cut that out and we can make it blend somehow, all right? But this is our wig. I'm not mad at her. She feels pretty nice and the quality of the fiber is nice. I feel just like Christina Aguilera back in the VMA performance when she had that dark hair and they cut away from her kiss with Madonna to show Justin Timberlake's ugly mug reacting all like, Ooh. Now, in honor of Christina Aguilera, I'm gonna recreate this moment the way it should have been seen by the public with the wig head. <laughs> Welcome back! Ignore her, she's not talking to me anymore. I have nothing to say to you. Anyways, <laughs> this is the wig. I have it all pinned down on the head. And as you can see, it is very much a wish kind of wig. Now, there's a very, very hard part machine put inside of the wig head. And there's also a very, very hard hairline. Like it's like a, a bowl hairline. Those early, early beauty shop lace front hairlines where it's so natural. So yes, we're gonna work around this and we're gonna make something very fun and funky out of this wig. Yes, we are. Okay, so I'm gonna brush through the ends a bit and get started on this. Start transforming it. Now, Valencia sent this to me all the way from Canada via Wish. So I appreciate that. I've been doing a lot of work with Canadians lately. Or at least I've been watching a lot of stuff from Canada lately. Like I've been on a Trish Stratus binge when no one's around, watching a lot of her old wrestling matches. And then I watched um, that Justin Bieber documentary on YouTube. Fascinating. And I also watched the Shawn Mendes documentary on Netflix. And I have to say, I almost didn't do this video, you guys. It touched me so much to the core. It was, that boy has had such a rough life. Honestly, I, <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> I watched that documentary. I'm like, oh my goodness. Is anything going to happen? <laughs> I wish I had his problems, man. Also, Canada, how do we feel about Shawn Mendes? Do we like him? I don't know. The jury's still out on me. I don't want to like go to the usual rude jokes people make about him, but let's just say this documentary didn't win me over on any kind of side. I just found him kind of boring. So what I'm doing here is I'm just adding teasing to the hair. I'm using a pit comb to do it. You could also use rat tail comb. Oh yeah, that's better. So what I'm doing here is I'm just adding teasing to the hair. Here we go. Gorge. Okay, that's teasing up really well. The hairline on this is really bad though. Oh boy, okay, well, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. I'm gonna blend away that part here in the middle because I don't need it for the style I have in mind. Okay, let's separate some hair here because I have something brewing in my mind that hopefully will work. And as I look at the wig, I can't help but notice there's not a whole lot of hair in it. So we're gonna have to work around that as well. But I have more ideas planned. Yes, I do. So just tease, tease, tease. Now the fibers, I have to say, they kind of remind me of a beauty shop quality wig fiber where if you know what you're doing, you actually can really get a whole lot out of it. Like especially with the darker dyed fibers, 
those usually tease down so effortlessly. Like if this were a blonde wig in this kind of fiber, it would be a living hell. Anything blonde or pastel or light, it's always so hard. But with these darker fibers, it's really, really easy to get a really beautiful hairstyle out of it. So just think about that when you're shopping around. Not to mention, if you're gonna make mistakes, do it on a darker fibered wig because it hides a lot of them. All right, I'm gonna tease the rest of this and I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, I am back. I have it all teased out and she is serving, you know, some guns and roses kind of realness. I'm living. So I'm gonna add a little bit more volume to this because this is nice, but it could always serve to be bigger. So I dug in my Yuhua Hamasaki box and I found a black half wig that I'm gonna cut up, tease up and add to this. So that's what we're gonna do, all right? Here we go. First things first, I'm gonna section off some hair on here. Figure out where it's gonna go. This is a pretty good angle, let's pull that back. And I can't help but notice just how in the 80s are, so we're gonna do like some full on like slash, like femme slash going on right now. Yes, that is the look, that is what we're going for. Now you guys, I have to say, some crazy stuff is going on in my apartment building lately. Like honestly, like a few weeks ago, a man in my building, I'm pretty sure died. Like he was taken out on a stretcher and I have not seen him since. The mail is piling up. Also, there's an ambulance outside right now. I don't know what's going on. There was cop car, ambulance, fire engine, the whole shebang. So I don't know what's happening, but it is concerning. Oh, and the other day there was this guy who was just screaming unintelligible nonsense at the top of his lungs right outside of my building. Like, good Lord, it got so bad to the point where I actually called the emergency, the non-emergency hotline. And they're straight up just like, yeah, we have like eight other calls about this and hung up on me. <laughs> so I gotta move out of my area. But thankfully I only have five months left and I'm gonna tell you guys a secret right now. I think I'm moving to Vegas. In fact, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be moving to Vegas, but then, that's between you and us, don't tell anybody. But yeah, it has just been too much lately. So much drama happening and I'm not involved in any of it. Thank goodness. All right, get some bubble wrap. Ball it up. And we're gonna stick it underneath. Y'all already know the drill. Double stack. I'm gonna start attaching this topper. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, I am back. I have it all attached now. I'm gonna start giving it a haircut before I start teasing it. So, it's a little long up the top, and what I wanna do requires a bit of shorter hair. So I'm just gonna trim it about mid-length. I want our topper to be more 80s, so I'm gonna need some hair that's a little shorter to play around with. Keep some long bits, but not a whole lot. Girl, I feel like Edward Scissorhands right now. Oddly enough, sort of what we're channeling with this hairstyle in my mind. I wanna do something a little more punk 80s with a bit of an Elvira flair to it. Something very Joan Jettish, minus the questionable lyrics. I listened back to a couple of those songs and raised an eyebrow at Joan, but that's neither here nor there. Also, I remember I saw Joan Jett live at Summerfest here. And what cracked me up about her is like when she's live, she like narrates everything she's doing where she's full on just like, she'll play a song and she announces what it was. Like you didn't just hear it, she's like, that was fetish. Like, we know, girl, you just played it. That was I Love Rock and Roll. We get it. It's like, basically, that was her entire thing she did the whole time. <laughs> Ugh. One of the best concerts I've ever seen, though, but that was a little annoying after a while. I was like, girl, we know. It's like almost like she had to remind herself to make sure she didn't play the same song twice or something. This part, I'm not so concerned about having a very, like, dense tease. I want it to be more fluffy. So we use a teasing brush instead. Want the air to do all the work for us. Plus the curling pattern's not exactly the same. So the stringier I can make it look, the better. Especially if we're going 80s. Stringy hair in the 80s is like a necessity. It's such a thing of that era. Everybody's hair looked like it was over-processed and just screaming out for help. Hey, if you hadn't noticed, the wig head has talked to me again. <laughs> Welcome back. Try that again and I'll kick your ass. Okay, let's spray it with some hairspray. What we have already. Encourage the stringiness. Almost opposite of what I'm doing with the Dolly Parton hair. In this one, I'm not packing the curls in and swirling them. I'm pulling the loose ends out to make them look more stringy. Give that whole, like, I haven't washed my hair in weeks look, but it still looks so chic and of the times. <laughs> Also like very club kid, back in the 90s, they used to do that a lot where they'd take a wig and just jack it up 
and they would not actually smooth it out. They just wear it big and teased. All right, I'm gonna continue fluffing this and I'll be right back. We'll start our styling of the entire wig. <laughs> all right, I am all back. I teased up the back piece. Now I'm gonna take my pick and just start packing in volume to get it as high as possible. Yes, we want height. Now the idea I have is sort of like a shaggy 1980s rocker kind of hairstyle. <laughs> I'm always doing like glamorous lady hairstyles, like, you know, television movie hair. Let's do some hard rock today. Yes, yes, yes. Channeling some Kiss, some Lita Ford. Yes, here we go. And like I said, the fun thing about 80s hairstyles is that if it looks a little messy, it's good. It just adds to the mystique. You could throw glitter in if you want to. Make your hair look dirty. It's part of the mystique of it all. All right, now I'm gonna layer off a little bit of hair to try and blend just to give the shag a bit more dimension and a bit more direction in where it's going. Cause it's a very stark difference when it goes from like short to kind of short to really, really long. You want to add a little more balance. And like I taught you before, cut at an angle with synthetic hair. Cause we're mimicking the idea of real hair and synthetic hair is not going to operate the same way. Now comes time to fuss around with these bangs. I have a little section right here that I'm going to clip. And I had to do this because I wanted to work around the fact that this lace front is very, very deep for my complexion. So I'm going to disguise it by just having bangs there. You could absolutely do this on like a hard front wig and it's completely doable, but I'm just making do with what I have. This is what someone submitted to me, so this is what we're going to do. And since there's teasing in it, you can actually push the bangs up if you like and make them sit a little higher. And it'll be a, more of a thing you do once you put the wig on and have to dress it to your face. But in the meantime, we're gonna spray it some more. Just go through and start clipping. Now these kind of hairstyles, I always kind of strayed away from because I always thought they were kind of ugly. And I don't know what it is. Like when I get older, the more and more open I am to just trying different things I never would have done in my, my 20s. Like I think these kind of hairstyles are really, really fun now. And I'm glad because they're really starting to come back in the style as far as like drag standards are concerned. Even in music, there's lots of like 80s inspiration going on right now. It's oh, cute. I'm gonna use my fingers to pinch those to make them separate and create more of a spiky look, more of a defined spike in the bang. And pull the ends out, and that'll help you add a little more structure too. And if you see strays, clip them or spray them if they are workable, because those add more texture to the hair. We want that unwashed hair look. And that's honestly what I'm doing right now. I'm just using my fingers and just brushing through it like that, pulling out the ends, and if they're salvageable, Try and pinch them together. Uh, one section is looking longer than the other. Just clip it and make it match. Fabulous. All right, I like in the front. Let's look at the back. In the back, I could use a bit more. So I'm gonna use my pick and push up hair, spread it around. Let's pay some attention to the back action. Okay, let's layer a little back here. Not too much because I still wanna have length. We just wanna blend it some. And what I like about hairstyles like this is that hairspray can actually do a lot for you as far as styling it goes. It'll do a lot of the work. Spray it, let it get coated, and then run your fingers through it. It is looking like a metal monster. I'm actually really loving it. I'm gonna do some finishing touches to it and I'm gonna try it on and I will be right back. <laughs> Welcome back! Oh my God, I'm actually obsessed with this hair right now. <laughs> It is so totally like a 1980s shag fantasy. Like it's giving you Guns N' Roses. It's giving you every kind of metal bird there is. <laughs> I've got the headbangers ball on top of my head right now. Oh my God. <laughs> I have to say this wig is fabulous, but it is just missing one more thing. The Jade's Mantle Magical Wig Spray from Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. Let's just give this wig a spritz. Now my hair smells just like cream soda. Available at blackphoenixalchemylab.com. And grooming can be an absolute drag, but thankfully I have Manscaped. <laughs> Use my code JAMES20 or Mansfield for 20% off your purchase, plus free shipping at manscaped.com. Party on! And I would like to take a moment, a Ven moment, where I thank everyone who's tipped me on Venmo. I would like to thank Alberto, Chris, Matt, Javier, Dolores, Jack, Sean, and James. Great name. Thank you all so much for the tips on Venmo. And one more big thanks to Valencia who sent me this wig from Canada. If it was you, the mystery is kind of solved because I did like a 
a process of elimination. Everyone else had letters except for this one, so this one had to be yours, okay? So if it's not, you gotta take that with wish, sweetheart. I don't know what to tell you. Anyways, <laughs> don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye! Hit the outro! Click here and see me recreate Dolly Parton's 9 to 5 hair. Or see me recreate Nicki Minaj's Martha Zelansky hair. Come on, click it. You know you want to. If you don't click it, I'll key your car. So click it. <laughs>